Hey guys, I hope that you are enjoying the class. As we get close to wrapping up, I wanted to just leave you with a few parting words. Some of you have asked for any kind of recommendation about what you can do in the future to improve your data viz skills. Uh, in this class, you've learned quite a bit about Excel and Tableau. Uh, many companies use Excel. I'm using Excel myself on a daily basis, but I think the real growth is with Tableau. Um, a lot of people know Excel, but not as many know Tableau. So if, if I were your age, um, I would absolutely continue to improve my Tableau skills. And to that end, Ryan Sleeper's book, Practical Tableau, is an excellent resource. It goes much more in depth about different things that you can do with Tableau. Um, to make a long story short, Tableau releases new features all the time. What you can do today is fine, but odds are you'll be able to do something cool tomorrow or next month or certainly next year. Uh, beyond that, I've put a lot of recommendations in Slack, particularly in the Tableau tips or cool data viz channels. There are plenty of blogs out there, YouTube videos, Pluralsight courses. Again, I mentioned that during the weekend, Pluralsight courses on Tableau are going to be free. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would keep adding arrows to your quiver. Um, there's so much more you could do with Tableau. Finally, and I can't stress this enough, um, I would create your own visualizations and put them on Tableau Public. Excuse me a second. Tableau Public is a fantastic way for you to showcase your skills. Now, if you do this for this class, that's not a good thing because I don't want people to, quite frankly, see the work and cheat. And if you do this for an internship, certainly clear it with your manager. You don't want to get yourself in trouble because your boss asked you to do something in Tableau and you threw it out there and all of a sudden now there's a confidentiality issue and you're going to get fired. But noodle with this stuff, play around with it. Um, there are some really cool visualizations out there. Um, you can learn from others as well. Um, certainly if you Google Iron Viz or um, Sports Viz Sunday, there are a lot of cool visualization contests out there that Tableau sponsors. Uh, with Tableau public data, yeah, it's early. With Tableau public, however, um, one of the biggest benefits of establishing a presence there is that recruiters can find you, right? It's one thing if you say, yeah, I'm great at Tableau. Well, fine, show me something that you've done. Well, I don't have anything off the top of my hand. Um, you may be happy in your future job, but odds are you'll work at a number of different places and in a number of different careers in your lives. Um, the days of staying at one company for 30 or 40 years have long since passed. My point is that if you throw something neat on Tableau Public, a recruiter may contact you as opposed to your submitting a job, what happens if you build a brand for yourself as someone who's really good at Tableau? Uh, to my knowledge, there isn't something like that for Excel. And again, Excel is kind of table stakes. Um, you don't really distinguish yourself as an applicant if you know Excel, but if you know Tableau really well, then trust me, you will stand out from your peers. Thanks a lot, and I really hope that you enjoyed the class. I look forward to the remaining few days. Thanks.